Hi, this is Sonia Fox, Web Technology Specialist with NDSU AgCom. Office 365 is um, migrating on March 10th of 2017, so our ag techs are recommending that we get any um, assets out of our SharePoint sites that me, we might want to save to bring over to the new Office 365. So if you log into Office 365 and choose the option for SharePoint, Um, although I don't own any of these sites, three SharePoint sites have been shared with me, uh, a couple from Chris Holt, including a staff, uh, new staff orientation, and also Eliz Elizabeth shared with me um, a site with NDSU Publications. So I'm just going to go into this NDSU Publications SharePoint site. And in order to grab those items that's, that are there, we'll want to go over to Site Contents on the left navigation. This is going to show everything that's um, included on that SharePoint site. Mostly pay attention to anything that's in one of these yellow folders, like don't worry about the microfeed, the Power BI, site pages, and so forth. We just want to get um, the following files out of uh, the folders that can be named documents, or if you use form templates, or site assets. Now, although Style Library is a yellow folder, we don't need to worry about that. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Documents folder, and we can see that all the documents that have been shared with me by Elizabeth uh, in this publication site. So instead of clicking on each one, we do have this option up here next to the Name field where we can check the box. It's going to grab all of those documents. And what I can do is download these documents, um, basically take them out of SharePoint or um, download a copy of all these and I can keep it on my computer. Note that um, it's going to save these files as a zip file and also it's um, a good idea once you do save this file to your computer you might want to go back in and rename this because it gives it a generic uh, OneDrive name file along with a date and that really doesn't tell you much so it might be helpful to go in and rename that to something that's more relevant to you. So let's say I've downloaded that to my computer. Now I'm going to go back over to Site Contents. And again, looking at the yellow folders. This time, and I'm not using form templates here, you can see that because under Items it says zero, but if you happen to use templates, you can uh, certainly go in there and download anything you want to keep. Let's go into Site Assets. And here we just have a notebook that's available, so I'm going to try and download that. And you'll see here that I don't have the option to download, even in this expanded menu here. Now, if you ever come across that, that basically means that only the site owner can download this type of asset. So if you truly did need to download this, you could reach out to the site owner, in this case, Elizabeth. Um, she could probably change the ownership settings on there, and you could put it in on your own SharePoint site. So once you've downloaded everything that you need in SharePoint to your computer or wherever you're saving it, uh, again, you could be renaming those zip files to something that's more relevant. But once the migration um, takes place in March, uh, you could go into your new SharePoint site and re-upload those. If you have any questions about SharePoint, we will be coming up with more information. Thanks.